Hi friends, how are you doing today? Sorry, I left you hanging on that off we go screen a little bit. Um, I was doing a tweet. That is my excuse. How are you doing today? Um, thanks for joining me on this sunny Friday. Well, it's sunny here in Spain anyway. Um, yeah. Hi Manny in the chat with the cute little cat emoji. Emote as they're called here. Um, actually, let me just close the door in my office before we get going. I'll, I'll start some music though, so that we're not sitting in silence. Um, wait on, where is my playlist gone? You'll be pleased to know I've added some songs to it, so it's a little bit longer now. <laughs> and there's some new ones at the, at the start, <laughs> which should be good. Okay, hopefully you're hearing that. Hopefully you're hearing music. Hi, X90, Vines. All right, one sec, I'm just gonna close um, the door to our terrace. All right. I have a cat sitting like right under my chair. I don't know why he's decided to put himself there, but I'm being very careful as I scoot into my desk. <laughs> Hi, Adrian. Let's chill indeed. Uh, okay. Tell me if this music is a good level for you. I think something's changed since last time. It might be a bit loud. I don't know. I never know. But yeah, we're moving on to like final stages of of this website which is really exciting um i just need to close some shit on my screen before i share it and we get into all this stuff um but yeah in the meantime how are you going are you working today you gonna work on something alongside me i don't know oh my gosh i have so many windows open i hope i don't accidentally close anything important right now uh, okay I think we're good let's go full screen there we go cool team captain hi welcome welcome Musafa welcome Ceci welcome our wonderful regulars hanging out here to chill today or here to work alongside me you know the yep charlie has a day off there we go sprint end coming up trying to get everything finished what um what were you focusing on this sprint what are you working on finishing today oops sorry that you're seeing a bit of an inception there okay <laughs> um i'm i've gotten to a pretty good place with this site uh oh the cat moved he's going into his little little hidey hole now so now i can be a bit bit more free with my chair you're fasting, Team Captain. It's um, Ramadan, right? Is that why you're fasting? I know people fast for other reasons, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So we've still got some content to get in, but there is starting to be some real content in this site now instead of the, you know, placeholder balloon images and stuff that I had before. So this is going to be fun. Clearly missing something there. But yeah, this is looking pretty cool with this real content. As you can see, I've added a couple of interactions already. Oop, oop. 
Um, and also on... Wait, no, not that. Uh... Ooh, I haven't linked that button. Okay, well, that was good to know. <laughs> Let's go do that now. This is the, the mode that I'm in now is, is really, um, yeah, clicking around and, and looking out for stuff that doesn't seem right and hopefully fixing it. What was it on? That was on the homepage, wasn't it? There's still a bunch of... Whoa, that's weird. Why is it doing that? It doesn't matter. Um, there's still a bunch of stuff that... Like, to do with the content that needs to be sorted. So we're definitely not going to go live live today, but I'm hoping to get the design done, at least. Would be ideal. And just make sure, like, everything's linked and, you know, all of that. All of that stuff. Uh, going back to my to-do list that I made in a previous stream. Oh, nice. You're doing a bug sprint. That's good. Those ones, they're never, like, as fun, I guess. But it's very satisfying to get them done. It says he's working on an audit. Nice. Um, the growth team at ConvertKit today are doing a hack day. I'm not taking part myself. I'm facilitating, I guess. And so I'm sort of just keeping an eye, one eye on Slack. And if I have to end the stream to like jump on a call and, and help people unblock uh, on an issue, then I will. But yeah, it's a virtual hack day and I've put people in groups and they're going to work together on it. And I feel like I've given them more good instructions and we'll see what comes from it. I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, um, hover state on menu items. I think I did that. Yep, they have, they all have stuff. So that's good. We can mark that one off. Hover state on buttons. Ooh, is this one? Arrow link doing its, yep, cool. I put this little interaction on here too. I just love when there's, ah, I don't know. That's just, it looks cool to me. <laughs> so we've got that little movement going. I'm still unsure on these carousel icons, uh, if they're right. Ooh, I have a new chalk drawing to add behind here. Let's do that. Uh, so it'll actually be film category heading. And let's add in the image. Did I export it? I think I did. Nope. I just drew a new little like swirly thing, chalk line to put behind it. Quality is always fun. Yes, you are right. <laughs> I like that way of thinking of it. Mm. background I'm slightly disappointed that I haven't streamed absolutely everything to do with this site anymore like there's been a few bits and pieces that I've done here and there this week um, that needed to happen because I just like you know you're on a deadline and, and stuff needs to fit in. Um, but yeah, that has meant that... Why, why are you... There we go. It's meant that, to finish my sentence, I'm not going to be able to as easily total up the like, hours spent on this project anymore. I guess I'll just add like an hour to it or something um, to account for those little bits and pieces. Okay, so we want to add a bottom margin here. And then also, was it 16 and 16 this had? Yep. Yeah. Let's try to do the same thing. Does it fit? 
it? Kind of. I need to add an interaction onto interaction. That was, I don't know what accent that was. Ah, shoot, I need to find the right image for this one as well. Um, okay, let's think though. What interaction should we have on this watch the session? I'm gonna call this watch session. Why does this not seem visually aligned? You know what I mean? It's weird. I don't think it matters that much. But it is going to annoy me. It's like this needs to have a... a top margin or something? Nope, that did not do anything. Okay, anyway, uh, so on watch session, we're going to come over to the interactions panel, add a mouse hover, and we're going to have it work on anything with this class, so I only have to create this interaction once, you know, on watch session. We'll start a new animation. Um, Session hover. And then it's going to impact this. Maybe that, but a lot faster. I don't know what all these things mean, I'm just going to be honest. Like, I saw someone, I think it was Nelson, used out court as the ease, and I was like, fine, I'll use that one, I guess. Yeah, so that means when I hover, that play button's going to grow, which I think is what we want. Um, why is there so many spam messages so odd mm. can you duplicate oh you can that's good okay yep we'll have this then and have it go to one Save. Let's see what happened there. Hey! Okay, well the out is not working. <laughs> What's happened here? Uh, oh, I forgot to select it. That's what happened. Um, interesting. Let's see. Uh, is that color doing its fade? I think it is. Okay. You just want something to happen, right? I think that works. And does it work for this one too? No! Okay. Oh, that's right, because I didn't put the right class on that one. That's right. Hola, Rick. Como estas? Oi. Let's see. If I put watch session on this... And then that's also on the all sessions page. So it should hopefully do it here too. No. Oh, fuck. Because I haven't put the thingy on it. So instead of arrow link, this is watch session.
Okay. Now let's try. There we go. Oof. Okay, we've got quite the mess happening here with this. That needs some fixing, clearly. But we're working through our list one at a time. Hi, Web Mama Do. How are you doing today? Uh, okay. So there is hover states on buttons now. I think all of the buttons have something. I could probably make the arrow move in that one actually. Would look good. Um, but we'll get there. I need to do some stuff at the footer anyway. Interaction on arrow link. We did that. Uh, get real content in. That's kind of like half done. At least each thing is created now. Each um, item in the CMS collection. But it's missing some information because as you can see here, like this one has um, the byline, but others don't. Um, they need to be added. Uh, sharing stuff. I think I worked that out, but I wanted to add an interaction to it. So let's go over to that page. Um, found an autoplay solution. Uh, it hasn't worked for me, so not yet. Let me show you what it's doing so far, though. I decided that uh, I wasn't going to spend any more time on it right now because I just really want to get this thing done. And it's sort of a thing I'll revisit. This is a bad example. I need to tweak um, his photo because he's you know, clearly way too high up the top. We don't want that happening. But what happens is I click play and it loads like that. And then you have to click play again. So, I mean, that's not great, but it's also not terrible. Wait, is this sound on this? Can you hear the sound? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, sorry. I think it's just that the epidemic sound is so much louder than everything else. I don't know. Anyway, that's what's happening right now with my autoplay. These are my sharing buttons. I've set up a thing for them where uh, I had to use the an embed to add the link so that I could add in a item from the CMS collection, add a field. So yeah, it's going to automatically, this will be our URL and it'll add the, the correct URL there and some text, some sharing text. But I want to make these, when you hover over them, like grow a little bit is one of my favorite interactions to do. So let's see if we can do that without it breaking things too much. Mouse hover. Also, I think my, um, I'm still old school and using like an actual cabled headphones and I think sometimes the cable doesn't work properly. <laughs> yeah, agreed, Rick. That's the, the problem, right? I, I get it. I get why this is a thing too, because they are like, it's to stop people browser jacking or, you know, um, video, auto playing videos can be really annoying. Um, but I just wish it was easy to tell it like, no, this person has chosen to click play. Um, yeah, I don't know. Doesn't matter. What was I just doing? Oh yeah, adding an interaction. <laughs> Start an animation. Um, and then we'll have it happen on this. Scale. Oh, not that big. Just a little bit. Again, 200 milliseconds, and we'll use this same one. Uh, save. Uh, yep. And we'll have it go on any class that is sharing link. Then on hover out, we will duplicate this animation. Uh, 
have it go back to one. Let's see if that worked. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I forgot to <laughs> do the select the out thing, didn't I? Yep, there we go. Ooh, okay, but this one doesn't have that, um, hmm. This one doesn't have a bottom margin on it because it didn't need one. I guess we can just add it and then tweak the block around it. And then let's remove five from that. Okay. Trying again. Nice. Ooh, that's pleasing. <laughs> All the design articles I read say not to autoplay videos and music. Depends. Um, you want a video to autoplay if it's like in the background, for example. Definitely don't autoplay anything with sound. I think that that's um, just a poor experience for anyone coming to a website. They haven't chosen to hear something, you know. Um, could cause some embarrassing moments for them. They might be in a coffee shop and something starts playing out loud. I don't know. You just don't want to be the person to do that to someone. But say, for example, if this was a video background um, and the video is there to add texture to the page rather than to be um, like watched and consumed specifically, then I think it's fine. I think I want to shrink the leading here. There we go. There we go. I think you're right, Sissy. Let's see how this is looking with one of the more recent ones. Yep, okay. Where is the website? Mm, right, we don't have one there. Ooh, is that arrow link doing the thingy? Yeah, there we go. That's not too bad, I don't think. We'll deal with it for now. This page still needs a lot of work in terms of the responsiveness, so... I gotta get onto that. Um, we can mark off sharing stuff though. Styling for carousel buttons is something else I have on my list. Let's uh, take a look and see what we think. We really have to publish this page to see this one though. I've added custom code um, that does this carousel thing and so that's why we end up seeing this when it's not there. So this is what I have. I didn't want to use a real arrow because um, that's like what I've used here on a link which takes you off to a different page. So that felt wrong. This feels nice enough though. Maybe I just need more space between the arrows and the, the title. Let's see. It's at a hundred. It's fun being finally at this detail stage, I've got to say. More space means maybe that arrow is not belonging to the title. Um, I don't know. Let's see what it feels like. I 
I don't want to put it in a circle or something because that would detract from these buttons. I think it still looks related to the title. Same with here. I think it still looks related. Ooh, this one's not working. Interesting. What have I done wrong here? Okay. Now we've got to dive into custom code and try and figure it out. Okay. What have I done? Slider pre film, slider next film, and find film. Okay, did I not give this? Wait, did this one have. I'm trying to find where I put music. Okay, on the list, let's see. It does say film. Okay. Hmm. Why is this not working then? Did I make a spelling mistake? Slider next hyphen hyphen film. Slider prev hyphen hyphen film. Um. Slider prev have an open film. Slider next. Yep. Hmm. Oh, duh. Arrgh. It's because there's only fucking three of these. Of course, there's. Okay. Well, never mind. Um. In that case, I'm going to hide these on... When do I go down in number of things in a row? Okay. I'm going to hide them until whatever this breakpoint is. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. Also, hello. <laughs> Corey is taking part in our growth team hack day today. Um, hope your group's going to meet and brainstorm soon, Corey. That'll be fun. Decades has a question. Would I need a degree or background in UX design to do what you do in your job? Nope, you don't need a degree. Um, you need to study design, um, but that study doesn't have to come from a degree. There's lots of other ways to learn. Um, I think that you have to work just as hard at learning, if not more maybe, because there isn't a, a clear path for you if you're not going to school though. I sometimes feel like people hear, oh, you don't need to, to get a degree as you don't need to get an education. And you definitely still need to get an education, but that education could come online um, from, from people like um, Matt D. Smith has a great course called Shift Nudge for UX design. And Corey, you don't have to know exactly what to do for Hack Day. Go through the brainstorm with your team and you all will come up with something, I'm sure. And if you can't, then um, let me know and I can join your brainstorm and try and help come up with some ideas. Okay, so we're going to hide these probably until... Ooh, will it be this breakpoint, maybe? Yeah. If you can't, you might. <laughs> Incorrect. Incorrect. Okay. And then here we'll display them. This is one of my favorite songs on this streaming playlist. <laughs> um. What did you think of Figma config? Any highlights? I haven't gotten to watch any anything um, from it yet. Like I just had meetings um, all day, uh, and then it got to like you know eight nine o'clock my time, and I just didn't want to be thinking about design anymore. <laughs> so I 
didn't watch talk. So I'm going to watch some replay ones probably. Um, I started joining the Stripe one because um, I really want to hear from them and that team. Huge admirer of the Stripe team and everything they do on their website. Um, but I'm most excited about Fig Jam to answer your question. Uh, I think I told some of you that I had a I did a sneak preview on Monday of the new features they were launching. And so yeah, Fig Jam looks super cool. I'm going to make a video about it probably this weekend. Because uh, yeah, I think that it's definitely going to be something that I use with my team instead of Miro. And that'll be fun just to get more non-designers into a Figma product, right? Nice, that's really exciting, Eli. Adrian says I'm that kind of a ma I'm that kind of manager. Um, I'm not actually Corey's manager, um, so you know, even if I wanted to, I couldn't fire him. I'm joking, Corey. I love you. I'd never fire you. <laughs> okay, we need to sort out some text styling, I think, because this is going to be too large. Um, the names. Ooh, let's add an interaction to this guy too. All the things interactions. Um, so on external link, we'll add hover. Maybe this one could go up to big as big as 1.3. Okay. This time I'm not going to forget to select it. Watch me go ahead and forget anyway. I'm going to select it right now, in fact, before I even click into it. How about that? Back to one. Maybe we should have the color of that do something as well. I don't know. Um, maybe go to yellow because that's what the other links do on this footer. Yeah, that makes sense. On hover. Um, okay, so that's not doing a thing. Ah, did I not do... Oh, fuck. Let's replace all these. And then it should hopefully work. This is something I would love to see them build into Webflow is better SVG support for things like color. <laughs> At least there's workarounds. I might not have like done the compression thing on this SVG. Let's just see if that worked. Oops, okay, we missed one. <laughs> Where are you, Kay? Uh. Oh, there you are. Mm, nope. How'd that happen? What did I do? <laughs> That's what I did. There we go. Okay, so we want this external link to be cream. 
but on hover, go yellow. Yep. Should we make this go yellow as well on hover? Cool. Does it have a... nope. I'm a big fan of adding a transition for colour. I just think it's nicer. Okay, that's what we have happening. Let's make this button. Another animation. Uh, move. Fifteen pixels, maybe. On hover out. I wish it would automatically just reverse whatever you just did <laughs> for the hover out because that's usually what I want to do. Um, and then if you could over override that, that feels like it would work well. Okay, let's test this. Maybe it's moving too much? I think it is. Just 10 pixels, perhaps. Maybe it's still too much. Yeah, that's better. Less intense. Um, and I want this link to go out, like open in a new tab possibly too. Yeah, that'd be better. Um, styling for carousel buttons. Padding on form I have written. I think I meant this form, but to know that for sure, I really need um, the more content in there. Let's go into our CMS and make that happen. This is the one that I am testing right now for this. Rick really needs a Webflow designer to work with. Details and automations. Yeah, I mean, or you could learn the interaction and automation stuff as well. You know, it's a handy skill to have. <laughs> if not, I feel like reaching out to people on the forums would be a good way to find, find someone for that. Um, we'll just add that in. Um, I don't actually remember what time I need to put in. Cool, now we have an image in here.
Oh, well, like, I I've um, been doing this a while and learning as I go. Really, honestly, it was the last project that I did. The I'm a creator site was where I first properly dug into interactions. And I promise you, they are easier than you think. Um, I think I'll do a video, like a, maybe a, I'm planning on doing a 101 Webflow video, and maybe I'll also do a 101 Webflow Interactions video as well um, to introduce people to it to get started. Yeah. Is it safe to live in Spain? Absolutely. It's a great country. Okay, let's publish this and see where we're at. I've still not solved my triangle problem from last time, if anyone remembers that. <laughs> okay, right, so this is looking pretty good. We just need a bit more space here, I think. And I need to figure out how to make this center itself, probably, the image. How do I do that without... Okay, well, that worked. This We need a better image for this one, clearly. Mm, okay, so we're gonna add a bit more... onto... onto this. Let's do 15. How's your work going everyone? Getting things done? That's better. Cool. Mm, these need an interaction, don't they? These need some form of hover state. What shall I have them do on hover, do we think? Are they not... Maybe it'll do it automatically if I put in the current color. Yep, okay, that's my problem. There we go. Now they're having a hover color at least. Have a good work day, Rick. Of course you do, you're productive peoples. <laughs> Corey, if your um, uh, hack day team isn't around yet, they might be starting their day later, you could just start answering the questions yourself to start thinking of some ideas. Feel free to brainstorm here in, um, in the old chat. No, that's not what I want. Give me the... Oh. Okay. And then back to being hidden. I've got to remember to turn these on again when we have more than one um, more than three, sorry, film sessions, which should actually happen fairly soon. I believe Henry, who is our filmmaker, and also this guy here, who we have a session about, um, is filming that today. Yes, Crime Idiom is Corey. I probably should have, um, explained that. <laughs> Oh, 
I think I want to make them grow as well. Just because we're really getting into the details now, apparently. Oh, that's so cool, Eli. Tell us about your email list. What um what sort of stuff do you send to your audience? Also, for some reason, just this second, I got really hungry. I don't know why. So I might potentially need to go and um, <laughs> grab a cliff bar or something. Uh, carousel arrow, yep. I don't know why I told you that. <laughs> ah, shoot, I forgot to do this part. Let's see if this worked. I think that's nice. It's subtle. And then yeah, there shouldn't be any on here until we get to here. Oops. Hmm. Wait, what? They showed for a second. Uh. What's happening? Maybe that's something to do with looking at it in preview mode. Oh, there we go. I could just do this. Yep, cool. And it works there too. Okay. Um, let's do this now. So when you hover on this... Uh, let's just have this change opacity. Mm. Oh, nice. How have you added your convert forms to your Webflow site? I'm curious if you do it the same way I do, which is with the embed element. Um, these, this bit here and this bit you see down here is my convert kit forms. Or have you done the thing where you've like connected it to the Webflow form? And then this will do our arrow link thingy. Hmm, I would have thought it would do it itself. Oh, it's because this, yeah, yeah, okay. This one to move five pixels, probably. Why aren't you building integrations? This, the form could be a plugin. Um, Normally, it's the other company that builds the integration, if that makes sense, using our API. 
And Webflow, I haven't built one yet. I have asked them to. But yeah, as Webflow gets more popular, that's definitely a thing we need to make sure happens. <laughs> This sort of stuff is my favorite part about Webflow because um, like the the static site, I could probably code, maybe not. I've done some like things that are a bit above my pay grade on this site, but the interaction stuff, I definitely do wouldn't like wouldn't know how to do. <laughs> uh, we need to change some color on this too, I think. interactions still stay yeah good okay and then on hover nice yeah I use the embed tool too hi Kevin welcome to the co-working stream mm, okay I think we want to do the opacity thing here too just so that that's the same did I do 80 on the other one Also, I have a meeting today. Let me tell you when it is so that you can remind me to get off and go to it if I... Well, it's not till 6 o'clock my time, which is in like 2 hours 45 minutes. So I don't know if we'll still be streaming by then. Uh, we might have run out of things to do, but... Nice. Okay, let's go to this page and see... Oh, yeah, that's right. This one we can't look at in preview mode. Let's do a publish. I tried out a thing, um, I posted a story today talking about going live to stream. Did any of you join from that? I don't know. Also, where are the cats? Okay. One is sleeping in her like carry cage thing and one is sleeping in the little cat cave <laughs> so sorry they're not here to say hi today Kevin came from Twitter nice I feel like I need to get a Seb and Nora emo emote on Twitch I think I have emote spaces available um because last stream, Nelson very kindly gifted a bunch of subs. Which opens up, like, more space. Mm. Why did I make that a link? What was I thinking about doing there? Okay, then you'll click this and it'll go to the page, yep. These have, ooh, interesting. Why is this interaction not on these? Hmm, what happened? Oof, and something weird is happening here. Yeah, where'd my, that was like the thing I was doing just as you joined. Did I, how did I fuck that up? It has an interaction on it. It's working there. Hmm. <laughs> 
This is weird. Does it not work once you scroll down? I don't know. No, it does there. Okay. Let's try go to to Neil Arts page and see if there's something in particular about that that's not working. No, it's working. I wonder what that could be. Well, I want to solve this problem though as well. I guess I delete that. Yeah. Yep. I'm glad you like meeting the cats. <laughs> They'll definitely be in every vlog from now on. I can't stop putting pictures of them on Instagram either. Quick question. I'm thinking about buying my iPad Air uh, third generation. Do you mean selling your iPad Air third generation to buy the new iPad Air? Um, what does the new one have that the old one doesn't? Like, what is your... Oh, you did. You then said selling. Yeah. Give us your, your list of reasons. Hey, Jabin. Okay. Um, why is her photo not showing up? Maybe she doesn't have one. Yeah, let's put that in there. What if we go to... Okay. Why did that interaction stop working? <laughs> I love it, Mike. <laughs> there we go. So Mike came from the Instagram story one. You're really not doing anything? Is it not a work day for you today, Mike? I think we're going to make these small. Same with on the home page. Supposed to be more powerful, better screen, and a prettier outside. <laughs> Does your iPad Air third generation work with the um, the latest Apple Pencil? Like, is that another reason? Does the newer one work better with it or something? Well, there we go. That's another reason. Because this pencil is much nicer than the, than the other one. Ugh, it's so hard to design these parts because you can't fucking see them. not working when other interactions on the page are working wonder what it could be I bet it's because is it because of the way I've embedded them mmm it is okay I think I know how to get around this 
um, for these sharing stuff, I had to add the link itself through the embed instead of through um, like the Webflow interface. So maybe if I add this, potentially, let's just ship with that one change and see if that figured it out. Oh, you were doom scrolling social instead of working. Nice. I'm glad that I caught you in your doom scrolling. Cross your fingers, everyone. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. What could have gone wrong here? Thinking. Mm. Um. Sharing link. Let me just check exactly what the interaction was on. Um. Okay, so the interaction is on sharing link and it's set to be on any, all elements with the class of sharing link. Okay, that's good. That's what we want. And what does it take action on? Instead, what if we... Mm. Actions that are applied to elements. Okay, so this MB10 class, where is that in our code here? Where is that coming in? Hmm, okay. Right, so that's happening on that. Okay, so I might not need to add... <clears throat> okay, let's not add the class on that. Let's add the class. Um, let's add the class to this specifically and see what that does. Close to it, open a new tab, open to it. Yep, that's what happens to me. That's why, honestly, I really like streaming while I'm working on something. Because if if I didn't know that you were all watching right now, um, I would have three tabs of Twitter open, quite honestly. <laughs> hey! Hey, hey, hey! Just a bit of a celebration dance. Cool. That's what I need to do then. I just need to put sharing link onto each of these. Feels like a bit of a hack. But that's okay. If it's gonna work, I'm happy with it. Something I need to add to my list before I forget is metadata. Cool, so that's working now and let's test them out. This should open up. Mm, we want that to be a new tab, don't we? Yeah, we want that to be a new tab. Target equals blank. Let's do that for all of them. Uh, there we go. 
Now that I've figured out how to do the sharing stuff um, for this site, I need to add it to my own blog. Did you tell us already what you're working on today, Eli? I can't remember. What are you working on as you watch today? Does anyone else get these um, songs that we listen to <laughs> stuck in their head? <laughs> okay, Twitter, new tab, that was good. Um, Interesting that it's fetching that image. We'll check that in a sec once we've set the metadata. Lara, so many emails. Actually, could I have it say, like for Twitter in particular? No, that's right, I couldn't. Okay, never mind. Yeah, never mind. Website for a fulfillment company. Agency work, not personal work. Nice. Hi, Fukan. How you doing today? You joining us for some co-working? Um, all right. Padding on form. I feel like we sorted that out. Actually, no. The RSVP form here needs work. Like, why is it so uncentered? <laughs> I know why. It's because on the home page. The RSVP form sort of hangs out at the side. But yeah, this padding, this might have been what I meant by padding on form. Needs some work. Um, I think we want padding bottom to be like 10. Yep. And the right to be just 20. Let's, how do I access that? Mm. No, I want to pull you out. There we go. Hi, Spot Panther, how you doing? For a second I read your message as, how are you on this lonely Friday? And I was like, oh, that's a bit sad. <laughs> I'm doing good. Um, I'm excited that it's the weekend coming, that's for sure. I'm um, hoping to spend a bunch of the weekend writing, working on my book. It's been slow progress, I'm gonna be honest, over the past few weeks. Yeah, but um, it feels really good to be reaching a finishing line with this project, that is for sure. Very exciting. Okay, so let's open the modal. Um, on the inner, we want to have 10 pixels and 20 is what I said, I think. Once you get the page number, it's easy. What do you mean, like the number of pages that um, you need to write in your book? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to probably the least interesting streams possible. T's and C's and privacy policy. Least interesting, but pretty important. Um, thanks, Mike. Virtual office. I like that framing of it. Um, Fakan, when is your WhatsApp interview again? That's coming up soon, right? You were telling us about that the other day. Of course, Bar Panther. It's been really fun to stream the whole thing. Um, I'm already thinking about like what comes next. Um, next, I think I'm, I'm going to start working over the next six weeks on our homepage, an update to the ConvertKit homepage. So that will be an interesting one to stream the design process of. It won't be built in Webflow, 
but hopefully you'll still enjoy yeah watching the design of it um okay How can I try to do this? Maybe if this said auto? Nope. Um. Oof, nope. Oh! Go back to how you were, please. <laughs> So I just try and like manually center it? That seems wrong, but... Okay, and then notch. Um... Would be moved along... Like that much? Let's see how I've broken things on the main homepage after doing that. In two weeks, okay. You have to think of something we need a co-worker. Yeah, I'll always try and have one project on the go that I can share with you, even if it might like, I don't know, turn out to be a, a personal project. Like I really do want to get back to working on my own website at some point. Okay, let's cross fingers. Feels pretty good. What about on the home page? Yeah, still working. Okay, great. Um, the responsive stuff remains to be seen, but we'll mark that off for now. Making my way through the list. It's going well. That's really cool to hear, Sissy. Even when I'm not technically designing, like, you know, I guess I'm making some design decisions in the browser as I work on the, the build here. Oh no, Corey, now you got that song stuck in my head. I won't sing for you all. Okay, it's time to do the thing that I've been putting off. All it says on my, um, on my list is triangle. <laughs> and if you were there the other day, you know what that means. So I started getting somewhere, like this is looking pretty good, but as we shrink the page, it uh, starts to have this border thing. Um, and also, why are these ones not stretching? Oh, right, it's because that's there. Yeah, 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 that's okay. And then, yeah. I'm gonna have this one pop in there. So I think I need to make a version of this diagonal that is dark. Where is that? Where did I make that? I think that's this one. Yeah, the triangle is gonna be, um, I think it's gonna be a for now solution to get this thing launched and then I'm gonna need to get Corey's help on <laughs> properly doing it. Um. What do they call it? Sorry, that clicking is probably really annoying, huh? What is it called? So we have that one. Okay, so we're gonna call it um, live session stacked. Just so I remember what each one of these things is for. Okay, and then we're going to replace 
this guy with that one. And then it's just going to be display block, I think. Yeah, wait, why? Why was it not doing it for this one? Yeah, okay. But then on. Now here we want it to be display block. Oops. God dang it, that's the wrong color. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, what um background color is this? Did I do it as a hover thingy? Nope, I did it as a real color. Okay. It's alright, it's an easy fix, it's an easy fix. I think I'm going to stand up a bit. I've been sitting too much today. I know, Adrian, I just can't figure out how to get that working like with, with Webflow, if that makes sense. But I think that's probably what we'll end up... Sorry, you probably didn't hear that. But I think that's probably what we'll end up doing later on. Every time I raise my desk up, the cats are like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh. Get standing mat in place. Okay. Can you still see me in the camera? Like, am I still... Yeah, you can. Good. Just checking. <laughs> I feel like I've n never done a stream standing up before. <laughs> I've done a podcast episode standing up. Uh... Okay. Nope. Let's replace you here. I'm just going to delete you, actually. Highly recommend a standing desk. It's a... Uh, yeah, just good. I don't stand all that often, like probably nowhere near as much as I should, but it's good, really good to have. Place this one. Um, yeah, and this text is way too large. Is it too large on the normal screen, though? Yes, it is. Oh, there we go. No, come here. Oh. Here's a cat to say hello, everybody. Can you see her? Hello. <laughs> You're so warm and snuggly. Okay, you can go down now. I love you. <laughs> I think some of these are too long, um, but we can work on that. And I think the watch the session this text is too large. I don't know how to shrink SVGs. Your cat is a beast. <laughs> Sometimes these ones can have trouble. Oh, sorry, I just kicked one. Why are you sitting right underneath my feet? <laughs> sorry, Sarah. They found a little patch of sun right beside my desk. Yes, um, I think my marketing design dispatch newsletter this Monday is going to be about um, Figma's marketing design, um, particularly of yeah some of the new product announcements. I love doing like a 
breakdown, I guess is, is the word to use. That's better, I think. It's really bothering me that it's not in line, though. I need to figure that out. How do I... Yeah, maybe just add that a few pixels above. That's better. If you're not already on my email list as well, and you like the idea of that, let me just put a link in the chat. Oh, why did I open it on that computer? It's not going to let me copy paste. I need to update one of my computers to make my Apple cross device copy paste work again. And I'm not sure which one. Yep, for can I do exactly that. I have um, a Notion workspace with my, I have a creative virtual assistant who actually just today um, put all this content in for me. So shout out to Chloe for taking the time to do that. Um, and yeah, so I write the newsletter, obviously, myself, and then she puts it all into ConvertKit and gets it all set up for me. And I write it in Notion. Yeah. Sometimes I write it in Ulysses, which is the writing app I prefer to work in, and then copy and paste it into Notion. That's like the document storage. The button font looks a bit of this font. The prime buttons like the RSVP one. What is looking wrong to you? Is it because it's like way smaller <laughs> than um, the rest of the text? Potentially, I don't know. Ah man, no, I meant to do all that on this. Ah, oh, oh well. I hate that I was accidentally on the wrong size screen and now I have to repeat all that. I wish there was a way just to force it to bring something up a level as well. I guess I just gotta pay more attention. <laughs> Does it still do... Oh wow, now that's going way too big though, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. What should I do about that? I don't know. Ahoy there, Jedi Bacon. Fellow co-worker. <laughs> hmm, that is weird. Um, font rendering issue, perhaps? I don't know. Ooh, that's a good point. Like, Adrian, on your screen, does it look like the wrong font? I wonder. Because I have this font installed, so perhaps that's an issue. I would love if you could send me a screenshot. I'd really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if that could be it. Like, I might have done the font name thing wrong. Don't know. Hmm, I think we want to add... Just a bit of space at the bottom there. Okay, let's get into looking at this on different screen sizes. But I think that that's the technically like the triangle issue sorted at least for now. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to make a smaller SVG and put that in. Where is my correct page? This one. Let's try this. Hmm. I probably want to put this into OMG SVG, don't I? SVG OMG, I always get it the wrong way around. <laughs> Ah, oh, have I got a shadow on it? I don't want the shadow. Um, that is a font, Jedi, but it is a graphic embedded on the page, if that makes sense. Um, it's not rendered as a font on the site. Because it uses special characters and some like special, I don't know, alignment and stuff. Oof, what happened there? Why'd that go so wrong? Um, is it because I have this on it? Nope. I've done something erroneously. Um, let's try good old detach instance. Yeah, okay, maybe we need to align the stroke. How do I do that? Outline stroke. There we go. And then what if we... Do that. And now we export this as a vector. I mean, it looks right there. Hopefully I only have one place to fill this in now too. Yep. There we go. Okay, let's see what this does on hover. That's better. It's more normal. Okay, cool. Oh, thanks Adrian. Let me take a look. That is the font. That does look correct. It looks like there's some space below it though, or something maybe? Like it's not sitting centered in the button? Is that potentially the issue? Interesting. What browser are you using? Also, thanks Jedi for saying you liked my type stuff. That was fun to add that sort of like unscalable thing to the page, you know? Latest edge. Ooh, okay. Hmm, interesting. We might just have to deal because I do not know how to fix it. <laughs> okay, let's swap that one out too. Um, okay, that seems good. And then in my design, I had way more space above this so I think I'm gonna add that 
Add an extra 10 pixel margin, perhaps? Oh, that did nothing. Okay, what about... 15? Yeah, 15. Random thoughts. Weird how on the YouTube app search is hidden in the top nav bar and isn't considered primary action. That's a really interesting thought. Yeah, probably. How often do you search on the YouTube app that when you just go to like watch something, I guess? Because if you go there with a specific tutorial or, you know, something in mind you want to learn, of course you're going to search. But I honestly usually just use my recommended feed. It's usually pretty accurate in terms of the videos that I normally watch. But I feel like it's like Spotify in that I don't usually expand outside my um, comfort zone, I guess would be the word to use, because I'm just always watching what I've always watched. And that's not great. <laughs> like it doesn't open you up to new things as much. Okay, this is feeling good. Um, let's see how this page collapses, huh? Okay. Hmm, why is this one not anchoring itself to the bottom? Are none of them doing that? I want to make sure that happens. So that's on this breakpoint. I need uh How did I get it happening on this one? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so let's just copy things from here. We do that, and then... That's probably more accurate. Yeah, there we go. That'll be what we want, I think. Let's see. Is my Spanish good already? No. <laughs> um, uh, I can understand a lot of Spanish, but I cannot think fast enough to speak it most of the time. It's really frustrating. Um, I went to the dentist just earlier today. I got a mouth guard recently because I keep like clenching my teeth at night stress problems um and i just had to go from appointment to check for them to like confirm that it's fitting correctly and things like that and i just couldn't figure out how to say like they just need to check if it fits i'm like i don't i don't know what i'm saying um yeah we got there in the end but There we go, now it's hanging out at the bottom, that's what we want. But what happens if we shrink even smaller? Uh, okay, then we get to... I mean, that's not ideal, but I think it's okay. We're having the triangle issues, but... Ugh. Ugh. Why can't I scroll? What? 
Hmm, what have I done? <laughs> Why wouldn't I be able to scroll on mobile? Let me go to it on my actual phone and see if that's an issue. Oh, hey, I didn't know either. A reply thing. Okay, Jedi Bacon, how did you manage to get rid of it? I would like to know. <laughs> hmm. I have to go check something out. Let me do my, um, have I got my B right back? Yep, here we go. We're going to leave it like this for a second. Um, and I will be right back. Back soon. My bad. Forgot to leave. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> Sorry about that. We had a um, issue with our boiler. Mark needed me to check something out. But also I got a um, cliff bar <laughs> while I was there. Ooh. Excuse me while I eat a bit on stream. Um, remove the overflow hidden. Guess who's just to add it. <laughs> The overflow hidden was a good idea though, Adrian, because that meant that it didn't do that weird filtery thing. It's strange that on mobile that is being an issue though and not on other things, right? I don't know. Um, also now I can't remember where I added that to start with. Here, right? Uh, where's this coming from? So we're just going to have to deal with that, are we? Hmm. Oh, it's interesting about WhatsApp, Mike. Do you think that's because... Like, that's closer to where your thumb goes, right? Well, if you're right-handed. I feel like probably most of the internet is designed for right-handed people. <laughs> Is this really gross? Should I ch oh, just step away over here. I'll try not to chew at you. Mmm. 
See, that's not great. Why is it still not scrolling? Did I not ship? Oh, fuck. It's because I just did it on one breakpoint, wasn't it? Fucking hell. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna put that back because... Oh, fuck. Why are you not scroll? Scrolling. Okay, do we have the same problem on other pages? Oh, Adrian's found it. Hit me, Adrian. If if there was if we did still do the thing where you add like website credits, Adrian would be in the credits. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Yep. I remember adding that for some reason. I think it was to do with navigation. Yep, look, there it is. Good catch. Thank you. It would have taken me ages to find that. I guess I would have just kept going up through every single layer eventually. Yeah. Hmm, okay. That's right. I just need to figure out a better solution for this then. Hmm. Okay, let's not do max width. Let's do width 100%. Why are you hanging out to the side like that? Fucking weirdo. That's okay. I feel like I want to have a different image for mobile, maybe. No, I really wanted this to stretch to the sides. Okay, how am I going to make this happen? Um, yeah, because when I move that, that doesn't do anything because I've now changed the width. Um, I don't know. Oh, well, it's probably because this isn't the container. I could take it out of the container, I guess. Yeah, why does it have to be in a container? Because, yeah, it doesn't need to be in a container. There we go. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Nice, for kind of you've been doing your research, have you? <laughs> About WhatsApp. Um, just checking in on Slack, just checking that I haven't missed anything. If 
fun. There's a thread in our Slack with people talking about how they're going to spend their sabbatical. Um, we just, a new benefit introduced at ConvertKit this year is that after you've been at the company for five years, you get a month long sabbatical um, on top of your regular, like, you know, vacation allowance for the year. Um, so that's fun. I'm definitely going to be taking mine. I hit five years at the end of this year. In December, I will have been at ConvertKit for five years. Okay. So I think we're good now, right? Let me ship this and check. Doing that thing again where I open a bunch of tabs. And I put the, yeah, overflow back on that. So that's nicer. Cool. Urgh, we gotta sort out that line. Okay, it's not urgent though. Let's just check, this goes to the right session. Good, good, good. These have their hover states. These are all linked, nice. More sessions. See all, that goes to the ConvertKit site. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Because once we figure this out, the next fun thing we get to do is like page loading interactions. I still feel like we could use more blank space on this home page. Um, and that these could have a margin top thing on as well. Okay, yeah, like between here this could be a bit further apart. Also, I wanted to try and do a thing where the active card, does it give itself a class? Let's see. Mm. Yeah, slick active. And this one doesn't have that. Oh, that is slick. Oh, slick center. Okay. Um, what if slick center, this one here, was slightly larger? I'm just going to try and see if I can do this. If it's not easy, then I'm going to forget about it for now because it's not super important, but I just want to try. So let's say this one. Um, We'll do it on this one and say it has a transform of a scale 1.3 potentially. That might be too large. Okay, so now that code should be in there and I can put carousel card back on it. Let's ship that and see. Do I do private portfolio reviews? Not yet. That's something I've thought about offering. I know Femke um, does them. If you haven't seen those, uh, let me find her. Um, this is not what I meant to click on. Here we go, profile. She offers portfolio reviews. Um, so yeah, that could be an option. Uh, especially if you're looking to transfer into product design because Femme actually is a product designer and I am not. So I feel like she'd be more useful for you with that. Yeah, that's something I've thought about offering up. Um, I just really have struggled lately with having stuff scheduled in the calendar and like the motivation, I guess, to, to do it. Like... Do you know what I mean? Like you have something in the calendar that you're excited about in the moment that you book it, but then it gets to the day and you're like, I'm just n I'm not in the headspace for this today. And that's been happening to me a lot. So I haven't wanted to set up mentoring sessions or anything. Cause I, if I'm doing something, I want to be able to give someone my all. Okay. So, I mean, this kind of worked, but not in the way that we were hoping. <laughs> 
now we have this on it though, so that's good, we can play with it. How could I make this... I'm trying to match the design where I had the middle one was slightly larger. This is what I'm trying to do. Nice, that's awesome, Eli. Glad we can keep you company during the workouts. How would I do this? How would I do this? Let me think, let me think. Um... Nope, that's not changing anything either. Okay, so that's not affecting something. Absolutely, Sissy. All of the time. <laughs> I know that I'm going to get that after I finish this. Finally, it's going to be like, oh, we got there. And then I'll be like, wait, what now? Okay, so nothing to do with height is affecting this. Um, ah, because... We apparently can't go bigger and... Oh, that was the end of the playlist. So the new playlist is... Well, we've only added like an extra 10 minutes to it. I need to continue adding more songs. Hmm. I mean, I did say if I couldn't get it quickly, I wasn't going to get it at all, right? So I guess I should listen to myself about that. Let's take this off. Okay, let's figure out what we do about these cards on... Um, Smaller screens. I think it's time to write a new list. Because my current list just says mobile as a thing to pay attention to, whereas right now I'm at the stage where there's specific mobile things I need to do. Transfer over metadata, because I haven't done that yet. Mm. So I could call the problem Maybe I want to have it go down to just two much earlier, you know? Let's try that first. How much how wide was that screen? I mean, Bear Reinhardt is having issues because of how long this is. Mm. I could put a minimum height on it, maybe. How tall is this? Let's put a minimum height of mm, 280. I don't know if this is going to do anything. Oh, cool. You're going to move to Spain.
Yeah, where are you going to move to to Madrid? but let's have it be yeah what is this image doing we don't want that to happen the image needs to stay 100% um, maybe I should make that the background instead of woo not that okay never mind never mind never mind forget I said anything um yeah, what if we tried making that the background? If carousel card got background image from sessions, screenshot field. Cover. Centered, not tiling. And then we delete this. Is it safe? I don't know. Ah, fuck. Nope. It was not safe. Um. Hmm. Why? Why did that happen? Why did that happen? Why does everything disappear if I take that off? Hmm, it's because my... Right, that's the only thing giving my card. Yeah, that's the only thing giving the card a width. Wait, did I publish? Is this, are we seeing the real thing? Okay. I think that's worked. I think we just won't be able to see it on this page, which isn't a big deal because I mean, we have this happening up here. Um, so now this is, yeah, get background image from sessions, screenshot. Um, delete that. I'm obsessed with this wonderfully nerdy conversation happening in the chat. Now that I've put a height on it, can I do my center thing? Um, and have that have a height of... Mm, 300. Let's just see how this works.
I wish Webflow could render custom code in its edit designer so that then I could actually see my design. Uh, it did not work. Okay, let me investigate somewhat. Slick center, minimum height 300. Okay, and as I extend it, uh, this isn't. Ah, it's because I put, hmm. No, that's a minimum height. That shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. What if we changed height to 100%? Nope, still nothing. Okay, I think I'm going to give up on that idea. For now. That's both cool and terrifying, Zuko, that um, you made you want to move to Spain. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, this Twitch replying thing. Is that brand new? I feel like that wasn't in the stream we did just two days ago, whenever that last one was. Three days ago? Can't remember. That links to the right place. That's not linking anywhere yet. Let's link that to something. Let's have this always go to the schedule page. Schedule or schedule? <laughs> Unsure. RSVP is working. Okay, we scroll down. Um, I wanted to add more space here. Mm, I think the padding at the top was fine. We just want to add. Oh. Bit more space there. Uh, I don't know. Job posting sites for foreigners. There is a good, well, yeah. I'm in a Facebook group for expats in Valencia. And there's probably a similar one for Madrid. Where you can ask, like, lots of, yeah. People are really helpful in the Valencia one. It's the only thing I ever use Facebook for is when I have an issue. <laughs> and need help. Okay, let's shrink down a bit. Oof, okay, so we need to make this have a maximum width. Glad I caught that. Um, session details. Is this what's got the... Yeah, let's just add a bunch of padding, huh? Maybe that'll help. Um, nope. I think you just request to join. I didn't know anyone who was in it. Okay. Um, hmm. Can I have this be... A higher Z index. What is this one at? 100. Can I have this be... Do 
200? No, I can't. Damn it! Okay, forget that. Um, wait, why did you leave that? Yep, there we go. What if just this was? Let's see how that works. I don't have an issue right now, Awesome Light. Just working through things. This is what happens in the science and technology part. Um, what you're watching is just people figure things out along the way. It's not a tutorial where I already have planned in advance exactly how it works. We just figure it out as we go. How's this looking? Yep. Still okay. I need to get a new photo for here. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Um, new Drew photo. New Amy photo. Mm, I cannot remember, sorry, Zuko. Except Pats in Valencia. I think it's got, I feel like I remember it having some illustration at the top. I can try and look for it right now if you want me to. Um, where do I find groups? Here, oh, Valencia expats. There we go. This is it. That's what it looks like. But I'm sure there'll be one for Madrid as well. Good. Ooh, how's this menu doing? Do we think it'd be better if it was centered? rather than left aligned. I think it probably would. I don't know. Okay, so why do we jump so much when we get here? This is interesting. Why does this get so small? That looks like this one. What did I put on it to make it do that? Interesting how it looks so different to what I'm seeing on my screen. Hmm. Okay, so as soon as we reach this, we have an issue with the logo. Let's fix that first. Do you always start from scratch in workflow or do you have some sort of personal base theme? I've start I start from scratch. Um, yeah. I start from scratch and I set up a page like this at the very beginning, a style guide page that has the text that I'm gonna use where I style like all headings, etc. Um, yeah, and then I jump in and, and start building from scratch. But that's been because my designs that I've been building lately have been very different from each other. And so it wouldn't have made sense to start with a base template. Good question.
we still live or is my MacBook just having an issue? I think we're good. Ah, I put an exact height on it, apparently. Hmm, why did I do that? Hmm. Right, I see now why I did. What shall I do about these cards on mobile? I think that's the issue that I'm going to have to solve. These ones actually aren't looking so bad. Hmm. I think I should shrink the play button on mobile a little bit. Oof. Okay, well then we're gonna have to shrink you too. <laughs> Did that shrink all of them? I think it would have. Whoa, okay, well, then we need to change that. <laughs> Fuck, wait, you can't do... Hmm. Maybe it's not too bad. I think it's pretty bad, though. Oh, it didn't... I see. I see the problem. What shall I do on mobile? Am I using the new M1 Mac? No, I am not. I do not have one of those. Cat making a weird noise. I feel like I want to look at this on my phone and think about it. Ooh, um, guess what? My um, replay of last week's, last the last session, it was Tuesday was when we did it, right? Because it was the Apple event. Um, the one uploaded to YouTube got flagged as copyright because of the Apple event, so I'll need to trim that out. <laughs> Disable the Santa Motor Mobile and have one big card only. Hmm, I don't know. Looks pretty cool I think I definitely need to make the like one thing for sure is this needs to move further down on mobile because its face is being covered too much we'll have it go like there or something instead Then probably as soon as it stacks here, it doesn't make sense for this to be aligned to the left, uh, right anymore, sorry. So we'll do this. Why did that misbehave? Yep, okay. Let me shift this so I can see it. Looking at it on here. I'm getting tired, man.
I think I want to give this a fixed width on mobile because um, as it's shrinking, it's doing some weird stuff. Let's say that. That's better. Um, we can decrease the padding in here too, probably. The swiping is nice on mobile. I'm glad that that's working. I'm going to do the same padding thing there too. Um, and yeah, let's make this font size slightly smaller on mobile. Ah, shoot, I can't even like see this one properly. So <laughs> let's try this here. We'll just set the same that we had above. Take a bit off it. That's working. Um, at the top here, the menu on mobile feels like it's too close. This needs some more... What's causing that? Is it because of this? Yeah, I think it is. Um... Then this can move up. <laughs> yep, did you come in part way through the conversation, Sissy? <laughs> yes, Apple Podcast subscription. Um, won't be doing it myself because of the huge cut that Apple take. I feel like, I don't know, I mean, we've got a Patreon for Design Life and I feel like if people want to support the show, that's the best way to do it. They don't need to support us through Apple Podcasts. Um, I don't know, that might change over time as we see how popular Apple Podcasts gets and how into people's workflow it becomes, I suppose. But for right now, um, not interested in using it myself. Okay, I think I need to reduce some of the space that I added. Um, yeah, just a bit up here. Let's make it 
60, I guess. On mobile. Oh, and I need to center this title. It's being stacked on mobile. Uh, I think that'll work. Yep. Yeah, that doesn't seem surprising for Apple, right? What's weird too is you have to pay to take part in it. Like you have to have it pay for an account just to be able to offer subscriptions to your audience, which seems odd. Um, I think want these stack. Like, should I do it from here? Yeah, I think this should probably go hang out on the other side. Uh, how did I set that up? Ah, easy. There we go. Oop, I've noticed an issue. down here. When does that come into play? Okay. What if we just made this 100% with centered on? Yep. When it stacks. And I probably want to get rid of the Okay. Ooh, okay, now we have a problem here. Um maybe at this point or like this point even we set the background image to contain. Yep. Yep, then it'll always be in it. That works. So I do the same thing for this. It's showing, that's showing. Good, good, good. Working through it, working through it. Okay, I feel like this page is maybe good. Um, still need to make sure it looks all good with the real uh, final content, but um, that's good. And those new photos. Okay, moving on. Next page. Let's look at the all sessions page on the different screen sizes. All sessions. Working well here. Music, yep. Not in love with that interaction, but it'll do. And as we shrink, we still have the interaction. You can still click on any one of these to go watch it. Um, do we think we should probably make the image a bit taller here, right? I think. Um. What have I got? Minimum height. Yep, that'll do. Do I have the background image centered? Let's check. Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, 
this is just probably not a great photo then. <laughs> uh, maybe it does need to be a bit taller. Let's go up to like, yeah, 210. Could you see yourself um, subscribing to podcasts through Apple Podcasts? What do you think? Will you use it as a user? Okay, let's see this on mobile. Refresh. Ugh. Yeah, the triangle on mobile is not how I would like it to be. But other than that, we're good. Okay. Um, let's go to the uh, single session page. This one is a terrible example because of that photo. Okay. I probably am going to want to add a search to this site at some point, aren't I? Let's not think about that right now. <laughs> okay, so I have a max width on this photo so that it doesn't fully stretch out all of the time. Um, that's sticking with us. We still need the content in here, but that's okay. Um, the, this needs to have the... Oh, I already had small on it. That's good. What is this image doing? How is it shrinking? Hmm. Uh, I probably need to set it to... Cover. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that might solve some of the other problems too. Okay. Good, good. Not a fan of the thought of having to be subscribed to multiple services to listen to favorite shows. Yeah. Podcasting is still broken in that way, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's both a good thing and a bad thing that it's all over the place. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, that's a really good point, Mike. Um, they probably should include that. Because I think that's something that Twitch, like that Twitch-Amazon um, partnership, there's been a really good thing from it, is it lets cr uh, viewers support creators, support streamers, um, without actually paying extra money, like if you're already paying for Prime. Or if someone in your household is. Hmm, I need to do the same height thing here, don't I? What did I do on the home page? If I can click on one of these things. <laughs> um, minimum height of 280. Yep, I want to do that here too. Ah, and I made it. Not sure if that was important or not, but minimum height 280 pixels. Yes, I think it was important. Okay, so we're going to delete the card image. Fuck. And then it's going to disappear again. Um, so I'm going to have to put a width on. Okay, nope, that's all right. Um, and then we put get background image from session screenshot. 
make it do a cover thing. Oops, I always click the wrong button there. Cover, center, not tile. Okay, yep. Then we can delete that. And hopefully now this should, yeah, do that same thing. Ooh, no, we don't want two abreast there, do we? Um, okay, we're going to do the same thing here with the... Full width. And then, ooh, okay. Mm, yep, and we're going to make it... And then here we can exchange the the grid at this point to just be one row. Okay. Uh, there's plenty more issues on this page, isn't there? Whoa, what's happening here? Okay, so the sharing is definitely not a good idea to have it hanging out right there. Mm. I think I'm going to put the sharing like along here on mobile. Yeah, at this point. Yeah, I'm thinking top Adrian just so that it's there in people's view. Um, but it'll be underneath the video, of course. Mm. Also, why is this not... Yeah. Did I do this manually on the other page? Ah, that's right. I've got to move this out of the container. That was my solution. Okay, cool. Um... So, sharing widget. Okay, yep, this will be, we'll edit this grid as well. To have only one row. Cool. Yep, agreed for Khan. <laughs> extra work. We don't want the extra work right now, we just need to get a thing done. <laughs> but you're not wrong. Why is there extra space there? I wonder if that's in the rich text. Probably. Uh, okay, so we would hide this arrow. And this sharing widget. We do flex with it, and we do flex horizontal with this, yep. Um, center, share text can have a bit of a margin, Oop, margin not padding. Um, how do I, I can make this one grow, right? Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to do. And then have the stuff inside. Mm. Space between. Let's see what that looks like on, like in reality. Of course. Thanks for joining us, Mike. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Um, yeah, I think those sharing icons end up looking too 
too spread out. So what we'll do is add um, five pixels. Kind of need it to be even though, don't we? So maybe we do three on each side. <laughs> Refresh on the phone. There's something not good about the this block as well. We're going to have to let me go to a page that actually has extra information. Lennon does. Yeah, this is not great, is it? Um, okay. I want to go vertical for this probably and have artist details and not have a side margin. But like, yeah, why are you so squished? Okay, always want to make sure the creator website has some margin on the bottom. That's better. Um, oh. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what's going to happen when I have too many social icons. Uh, there's a... Yeah, we want to put wrap on it, don't we? Oops, but we probably want to put it on right from the top. Hopefully that'll be good. I should probably add some, like... Bottom padding to it, though? So they don't all stack together too much. Then we can take... Um, some off here. Did that screw up these as well? I think it did. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, yes, it did. Okay, so I'm gonna revert that change here. Let's not do that. Let's do it. Um, I'm gonna add this as a combo class and we'll add it onto you. All of, the, all of the link components? No, they're not. Um, I probably could have done that and used the override thing like I've done for this thing here, but instead I just pasted them all in individually. Probably wasn't the smartest move. Okay, let's see how we're looking. Oh, I forgot to publish. Nice. Um, I think we need to add just some bottom margin to this on mobile. That'll feel better. Oh god, they gave me a fright. That was the cat. <laughs> cat visit again? Hey, Laura. You want to say hi to the stream? 
This is Nora, everybody. Not interested, huh? Danny go. And sits exactly on my foot right where I put her. <laughs> Are we distracting you, Sissy, on the stream? <laughs> Potentially. Okay. Um, I have a feeling that I'm nearly there. So now I want to return to the home page. Uh, still going to do the metadata and stuff, but that's boring. I won't do that on stream. What if we added some fun, like just try a couple of um, Mm. I've forgotten how you do the load in animations now. Uh, page load, right. Mm. No, that's not what I wanted to do. How did I do it last time? I just, it was really easy just to click on something and be like, have this happen. Maybe it was. Maybe it was scroll into view. I did it on. Um. Yeah, this stuff, this is it. And what if we had this come in from the right? Left, sorry. Ooh, this is where things get fun. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Let's delay you by 200 milliseconds, just so you have some... Yeah. I don't want to go crazy, but I also do want to make it feel cool, you know? Um, scroll into view. You don't want to go crazy, you just want to make it look cool. <laughs> That's a good one, Jedi. <laughs> Fade. And this one should probably already be doing it. No? Okay, maybe not. Um, fade. Slide from left. Cool. I really want to call attention to this, so I think I will make these both slide in as well. Uh, slide from left. And... Slide from left with a bit of a delay. Okay. Let's publish this and see what this looks like. Wait, what time did I say my meeting was? No, it's okay. We're good. Uh, 
That was pretty nice, huh? Ooh, that didn't feel great though, the fade in. Eh, I guess it's not terrible, but... Oh, I missed the bottom one. Cool. Uh, let's do this for other pages, huh? We'll have this logo hero slide up, I think. Yep, yeah, that's nice. Maybe just that touch on the other pages. Oh, I forgot to look at the schedule page. This, we still don't have, um, oh fuck, well, I've fucked something up there. Um, I still don't have the content for this part yet, so it's a bit hard to finish. Okay, but wait, what happened here? What happened to you? Ah, hmm, hmm. There we go. Hi, Hefe, or are you Jeff with an E on the end? Um, I think we'll have this one go... I just tried to turn on guides, that's funny. 100% um, width at this point. And what's happened there? Not quite sure what's happening here. Okay. No, nope, I don't understand where the width is coming from. Okay, there we go. I clearly did not finish building this one properly. Let's start this from scratch. <laughs> okay. So where is the width coming from? Oh, there. Okay, that's all right then. Green background. Three pixel border radius, flex, of course. Um, hmm. Where did you come from? How did I do it on the home page? Oh, right, so I'm not even using the image here. Right, okay. Um, we have a background, then we have the green diagonal. This has a width of 40%. Uh, I need to write down calendar on my list of things to do as well. Hmm. 
Why have I got two? Right, because you shouldn't be there. Okay. You have a background image? Uh, yep, okay, that's good. And then... You want your background image? Cover. Not tile. Okay. Oh, I need to say overflow. Where is this all coming from? Oof, where'd that, yeah, that's not good. Maybe we only want the image to be like 30% here. Don't love that, but also not sure what to do about it. So here we can go to that, and then from here on we'll be 100% width. Mm. Right, and here we need to stack. Is that what I did on the homepage? What did I do on the homepage? I did not. Why did I not see that? That's an issue. <laughs> we are not as finished as I thought. Um, 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 um. How's all your work going, everyone? I feel like I'm going to wrap up soon because I can only concentrate for so long, you know? And then nice. Uh, that should be hidden until here, where it becomes display block. This one gets hidden. I think cover was the wrong thing here, contain, yeah. I think something's off with this image, like at the side that there's a, a pixel off. That's what happened last time as well. So I would not be surprised. Why aren't you doing that? Min height 100, we'll just make you a minimum height of 100 as well. There we go.
finished the terms and conditions. Well done. That feels like a... Yep, you definitely deserve to play some games now. <laughs> hmm, I've not heard of that CMS. Shoot, okay. Um. Oops. Um. Oops, 200, 200. Okay, and what's happening here? <laughs> Uh, it was right there, but then here we went. No F1 this weekend. I know, it's so sad. Especially because last week was so good. Um, Fukan, do you listen to Missed Apex podcast? It's my favourite Formula One podcast. It's really good. They do like a race review and they talk in detail about like, um, they have sections like where the race was won and lost. Uh, what else are there other sections? I can't think of any off the top of my head right now. Mm. I don't know. They just, I like the way they break down the race review. And they're also like over, they're positive about it. Um, whereas I felt like some other F1 podcasts are like, what is Moni? They're just like, you can tell they're really big fans of of F1. Uh, I don't know. I like it. And also it's funny because like one of them's a fan of Hamilton, one of them's a fan of Ocon. And so you get some interesting, um, you know, like <laughs> debates between them. <laughs> okay. I think, um, oh, well, I need to add the loady thing for this as well. Oh, we already did it. Cool. Um, I think we're going to call it there. I think I've gotten pretty far with this. As far as I really can without some more like final content stuff. So yeah, now I can share it with the team and get them to poke around it and find all the bugs because I'm sure there is many. Um, let me switch back to my camera view. All right. We were going for three hours. I had a bit of a break in the middle, but still. I'm out of water. I definitely need to sit down again, <laughs> running out of energy. Thanks for hanging out with me though, as we push to the end here. Um, this has been exciting. This is an exciting project. I'm really proud of it, I'm proud of the design. Like I said, there's a few things that are less than ideal about the build that I would like to fix, um, but we can get to them. Yeah, feeling good. Thank you for hanging out. Um, I hope that you have a good rest of your Friday. Maybe if you live in the same time zone as Myself and Furkan, uh, you can sign off for work soon and, and start your weekend. Yeah. Nice working with you too, Jedi. All right. Yeah. See you all next time. Make sure you're following on Twitch so that you get notifications when I go live next. And yeah. See you maybe on the weekend for a game. If not, maybe next week to start off a new project. Who knows? We'll see. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.